Welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is meant to train you on how to manage your site using the now floats manage web portal. We'll begin the tutorial with an example. This sample store website is your website. This is the example. And then in order to manage this particular website, you will have a username and a password. So what you need to do is type in manage.nowfloats.com and provide the username and password that has been sent to you. Once you log into the dashboard, you will see a summary of the activities that are happening on your site. For example, you can see the number of visits that have happened to your site. You can see how many people or how many IP addresses they have visited your sites, how many user sent messages your business has received via the Talk to Business feature, and how many people have subscribed. And below this, there is an interactive graph where you can change the timelines and you can see for last 10 weeks, for last 5 weeks, for last 15 weeks. Moving on to the discovery feature, in the discovery section, you can see the search queries that have landed on your site and the date and time on which they landed and from which IP address. Now these search queries are nothing but an organic search query which somebody, some online user is searching using Google browser or let's say Google search engine. Moving on to the next section which is the inbox. Inbox stores all the user sent messages to your business. As you can see here, it talks about that this phone number has sent you an inquiry or a query or a comment. Similarly, you will get a list of all the user sent messages from people who have visited your site and have sent these messages via the talk to business feature. Moving on to the next section, your updates, it showcases how many updates have you done till date and what are those updates. If you want to delete any update, you can delete them by clicking on the delete icon. Next to it is image gallery. Image gallery showcases the featured image, the other images in your image gallery. If you want to edit the featured image or change the featured image, you can click edit, select a photograph and then again click on edit and the photograph will be changed. In case you want to delete some of the gallery images, you can click on delete and as soon as you click on delete, you can select the images that you want to delete and these images will get deleted from the site. So let's say I want to delete this image. I click on delete and it says successfully deleted the selected images. Now in case you want to add a new image, click on image uploader where you can add files or drag files from your desktop and put it here and then click on start upload. For example, let me update photograph. And you click on start upload. Successfully uploaded your images to this. You can refresh this page and you will see the image has been added to the store. And instantly, if you'll go back to your separate store and click you will find that the image has been uploaded. Now, 
move into the manage website section using the manage website section you can edit the business name you can edit the business description edit the phone number you can also mention the store timings change store timings store opening and closing time you can toggle between these two switches you can add email address for your store that will show up on the storefront you can add Facebook page you can add other website and click on save changes apart from this we have also provided a rearranged web widget feature where you can rearrange the widgets that are appearing on your website this will talk briefly about a widget but we technically say that this is a widget now assume that you want the talk to business feature should come just above the address information so what you need to do you just need to drag it and put it here and click save now if you will go to your site refresh it now you can see the second section is now talk to business rather than the address information apart from this the main thing that you will be really concerned and you really want is how to update content and how to post content on your website so therefore go to the top right corner and click on add a new update now this feature is available in all the sections so you can anytime if you are browsing through any of the sections you want to post an update you can click on this icon and provide the content the message provide services and if you check out this by default it's checked in if you check out this particular box then it will not be sent to all your subscribers and if you want to attach a photograph you can click select a photograph and click on submit successfully posted your message to your store now if you go back to your store just refresh the page you will find the content has been posted to your site now in case you want to delete this content you can very well go to your updates click on delete this message it will ask a confirmation successfully deleted the message and as you can see the message has been deleted apart from this you can also add a new image using the other icon and you can also go back to see your updates I hope this tutorial was fruitful for you to understand how the management portal works in case you have any comment or query you can call our customer care 916-4303 or write an email to us at biz at the thank you for your time